Well, I've been saving up my milk jugs for a while. I'm hoping that I have enough to do a test here today. Um, just a lot of fun blowing up milk jugs. So, you know, whatever you can gain from how far they went, good for you. Um, going to try some uh, Russian, you know, the 148 or whatever grain ball ammo. And then I've got uh, some 150 grain PPU, the soft point stuff. I'm expecting that to blow up within the first few or so. And then some 182 grain full metal jacket boat tail match stuff. Uh, that will be interesting. Have to see what that does. So I'm going to use my, uh, what is this? This is the 1936 Izzy. And this is the, a nice laminated one, as you might be able to see in the stock. Maybe not. But anyway, I don't call it plywood like some people do. <laughs> So let's blow some stuff up. I'm going to put these right over the chronograph so we can see exactly what we're going to get for velocity out of these different rounds. And we'll see what happens. Okay, going to start off with a 150 grain soft point PPU. Well, that was 2,933 feet per second. That uh, PPU stuff is definitely warm. So, let's take a look here. Well, I see that the third jug was punctured because the water is low. Uh, let's see, you know, that first one, of course, is just gone. And right there, there we go. That's kind of what I expected. I expected the 150 to just blow up. Um, it did go through one, two, three, and punctured the fourth. And you can, I don't know, whatever you want to think about weight retention, I really don't know what shooting into water jugs tells you for how a bullet's going to hold together. But, uh, so, one, two, Three jugs destroyed, punctured the fourth. All right, next up is the 182 grain Privy Partisan full metal jacket boat tail match load. And I got to say about that 150 soft point, if you're shooting thin skinned deer, uh, then, you know, any hit with that round on, uh, you know, lungs or heart, I'm sure that it would do some pretty good damage. Okay, let's see what happens here. A little bit of a different perspective now. Right over the chrono so we can see what they're doing. Okay, let's go uh, check it out. 182 grain bullet. Let's check the velocity here. 2,674. Okay, there were 15 jugs up there. And it looks like it went through three and punctured a fourth again. Let's see what we got. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12 so it went through three and punctured a fourth now what would be cool is if we could find the round but I'm not seeing it right there well after wasting about 45 minutes trying to find that projectile um, I found that I couldn't find it but anyway went in here came out right there and it put a pretty good dent in the handle I think you might be able to see the dent right there, uh, which then it deflected off and went off into the lawn here someplace. And unfortunately, I looked and looked and looked. So I think the easiest way would just be to shoot it again with another one of those rounds. So here we go. 
All right, that was pretty cool. Uh, let's see what we got. Three got destroyed. I'm gonna say four got destroyed. And I see a fleck of something. Oh wow, that looks like the base. That's impressive, let's get it out here. That is very, very weird. Oh, total separation. Because that is the empty bottom of the bullet. And I mean, it's not like it's a bonded core or anything. It's just a match bullet, but full metal jacket. Um, hmm. So, pretty much smoked four jugs. And that's what was left of that 182 grain bullet. Well, I think it'll stop inside of eight jugs. So this is gonna be the Russian ball ammo steel core, 1970s vintage. All right, let's see what we got. Uh, normally that stuff is around 2,800 feet per second. I got a pretty high reading though. I'm gonna shoot a couple more, get an average before I go saying what it was. So there was eight jugs there. And I don't think I moved the ones that got shot before. So, oh, this is not a good sign. We may have uh, blown out the side. Maybe, maybe not. I don't see a projectile in there. And I kind of expected that steel core bullet, steel jacket, that's not going to expand hardly at all to do pretty good. Let's get some more jugs here and see if we can catch one. Okay, take two with nine jugs this time. I put a piece of plywood behind it in hopes of maybe capturing it. I don't know. So, go make some noise and see what happens. Okay, the average velocity between... The two rounds, well, several rounds actually, is right around 2,800. So we got one, two, three. I see a side blown out. I don't like that. Um, and number four is still holding water. Don't see an impact on my plywood anywhere. Well, I got more bullets. Let's uh, shoot these five. And I doubt it's going to stop, but you know, maybe it'll hit the board. We'll see. Okay, last five jugs. Russian ball ammo, steel core. Well, it knocked all five over. Let's see if number five actually has a hole in the jug. Oh yeah, um, I'm gonna call that, oh wow, okay, yeah. Went through, it exited sideways, and it continued with a crap load of energy and still going sideways. Get some sunlight on that. Yeah, that's, uh, that's your Russian ball right there, does not, uh, open up it's you know steel jacket spiders like it see that right there yeah spiders like it taking a better look at the five jugs that the uh, ball ammo out of the Mosin just destroyed I assume the first one is just in chunks someplace on the lawn um, but this one this is either number two or three but you see it still was going straight uh, still is going straight and then it may have started to curve or something because uh, I, I cannot see a distinct hole, but I think that this must have been number four. And then the exit clipped that last one where I thought it exited sideways. It actually, uh, there's no other holes. I filled the jug up with water and there's, you know, and the water's out now, but it, there's no other holes. So it didn't exit sideways. It came out of the previous one, just nicked it there. And I don't know if that was enough to get it to go sideways, but inside the next, uh, I don't know. But anyway, it was definitely sideways, you know, when it hit the, the wood here. So 
This is actually a, I think it's Romanian where I just shot Russian, but anyway, so you can see with it going through at a slight angle, you know, whichever way it went through. Uh, this is that steel core stuff. I actually recovered a steel core that I shot at an angled plate that was angled down towards the ground. I saw the hole in the ground in front of the plate and dug in and found the steel core. Um, it was an AR-450 plate. It really, only about 60 yards away, and that steel they use for the core, of course, is extremely cheap stuff, so it had didn't stand a chance against that AR-450 plate. But that's what the steel core stuff is. Right there. So it really only went through four jugs before it exited, clipped the fifth, and blew right through five layer, half inch thick plywood. Gotta show this, okay, yeah, so there's the entrance. Check out the exit. <laughs> Nasty. And check this out, this was a brand new two by 10. And this seems to happen all the time. I destroyed another picnic table, so that's why I brought this old piece of crap out here. And I knew it would destroy that board, so I just put this brand new one on and smoked it. It was actually cracking really good uh, after about two or three tests. Well, milk jug graveyard right here. Hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> I know I did. Milk jug graveyard or is it a deer farm? Three. I don't see another mom around so those might be triplets.